The Catholic Archbishop of Abuja has called for calm from eligible voters in Nigeria following the outcome of the presidential and national assembly elections. He gave the call during an interview with CTV News in Abuja. This voting of February 25th, 2023 was quite unique in the sense that everybody was very enthusiastic. And I know those who before didn't care about voting. But because of the awareness we made and the appeal we made to people, they turned out in very great numbers. And they wanted to vote because they were assured, they were given the guarantee that their votes would count and that it would be easy to even find out when they upload their vote into the system, uh, it would be easy to confirm whether it corresponds to their votes or not. That was why people were very, very eager to vote. And we, as religious leaders, encouraged them to go. This is a time to change things in Nigeria. This is a time to give democracy a different face. And indeed, our people went out. But where the outcome is not what I can dictate. It is INEC that has the responsibility of uh, fulfilling the promise they made, that the votes will be there. From what I hear from my people here and there, that was not the case. He also encouraged eligible voters not to lose hope in the electoral process, but to continue exercising their voting rights. And people are upset, people are angry that they were deceived and um, they are not too keen now about even the next elections. That's why I'm appealing to them to calm down. Let us face this issue. We will go to the next election and vote. Those who are affected by this election and they know they have facts will go to the court and the court will decide. Our prayer is that the courts will be neutral, will be objective, will be transparent, and will be giving judgment based on the fear of God. God above is watching. Anybody who manipulates or deviates from doing what is proper and truthful, God above, he is the supreme being and he is the supreme judge of the supreme tribunal above. So he will know what to do. So we urge the judges and all those who will be involved to be impartial, to be neutral, and to do what is in the best interest of this country.